In this video, I'm just going to be going over how to access the registration page and how to actually register for classes. So from Google, you just want to Google UIUC Enterprise or UIUC Self Service, and it should take you to this website, um, which is apps.uillinois.edu slash self service slash. So click on this. And you want to navigate to the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, obviously, because that's the campus you're going to be on. And you're going to want to um, log in with your net ID and Active Directory password. From here, you want to go to Registration and Records to actually register. And you do want to use Enhanced Reg Registration instead of Classic Registration, just because Enhanced Registration has a much cleaner user interface than Classic. So go ahead and click that, and it will take you to this page, which there will be a variety of options which you can, you can click on. But because we are registering for classes, um, click on Register for Classes. And most of you guys are going to be registering for the fall 2018 semester, but some of you are actually going to, are also going to be registering for the summer 2018. So if that is you, um, do make sure to select summer 2018. But I'm going to select fall 2018 for now. And continue. Okay. So here is, here is what it looks like. If you press this, it'll toggle it so that, just so that these two are uh, fill up the whole screen. As you can see here, I've already registered for all my classes that I'm going to take next semester. Over here, this is just a nice layout of your schedule. And over here are your actual classes that you have signed up for. Um, so if you want to actually register for classes, go to Find Classes and type in the subject. The subject is just the department that your class it lies under. So most of you guys are, well, the freshmen are going to take Engineering 100. Engineering, if I could spell that, Engineering. Engineering 100, and the transfers are going to take Engineering 300. So for Engineering 100 specifically, it does matter which section you um, sign up for, and that is determined by major. So for example, um, these section codes correspond to your uh, major. So for example, um, I'm a material science and engineering major, so I will navigate to the material science section which is all the way back here. With MS. So I believe ME is mechanical engineering and MS is material science engineering. There is a list of those uh, departmental codes. If you do have a question, feel free to hop onto the chat room and ask the um, registration assistance there. So to actually register for a class, you're going to click Add here, and it's going to pop up down here, and also it's going to show you where in your schedule it is. Um, so after you sign up for a class, make sure to press Submit to actually submit that class. It's going to throw me an error, student attribute error, or restriction. So that just means that for this class specifically, Engineering Orientation or Engineering 100. You need to be a freshman to take that. Um, and you can check that by going into um, Restrictions. So you see here, you have to be a first time freshman and also material science and engineering major in order to take this specific section of Engineering 100. I am a material science major and that's why it didn't throw me one of these errors. But I am not a freshman, so that's why it threw me this one. So to remove this class, go to Action and this drop-down menu, and instead of Web Registered, click on Remove, Submit, and that should remove you from the class. Okay, next I'm going to go over linked classes and what those look like. So most of you guys are going to have to take Chemistry. Um, let's do 102. That should be general chemistry one. 
So for chemistry and most of your classes that have linked courses, you, you're going to have to um, select a lecture and a corresponding quiz or discussion. So if you um, select a lecture that starts with A for your section um, number, for example, then your discussion or your quiz also has to start with the same letter. In this case, both my lecture and my discussion both start with A, so I'm good. And you see here this error, which says full zero of 10 seats remain. Um, that just means that that class is completely full and you can't sign up for it. If you do have a class that you absolutely have to take this semester um, and all the sections are full, hop onto the chat room and one of our registration assistants will be able to um, do a course override for you. But only do that if it's absolutely necessary. Also, you see here that it says time conflict. That just means that um, on Wednesday and Friday from 12 to 12.50 when this class meets, I, I'm already signed up for a class then. Um, and that looks like it's going to be ECE 205. So if I do add this with a time conflict, um, I also have to sign up for the corresponding discussion here. So I'll go ahead and do that. Both of them have time conflicts, but I will click submit and it should throw me an error with a time conflict. Yes, it does. So this is the time conflict for the lecture and this is the time conflict for the quiz. And even if, um, so let's go ahead and keep the lecture, remove the, this quiz that I had a time conflict with, but add a, um, add a discussion section that I don't have a time conflict with. So let's see what happens then. So now the error has changed. It still has a time conflict error with the lecture, but it now has a linked course error um, for the discussion. Because I couldn't sign up for the lecture because I had a time conflict, now it needs the discussion that I signed up for requires a linked course, which is that lecture that I couldn't sign up for. So just make sure um, you don't have any um, time conflicts or, and that you've signed up for all the linked courses required. I'm going to go ahead and remove both of these because I don't want to do General Chem 102 again. And to find another class, just go to the screen search again button in the upper right hand corner. So. I just went over linked courses and it works a bit differently for physics, which most of you guys are going to have to take. So let's go through physics 211. So for physics, it doesn't actually matter which section you sign up for as long as you have all the different parts. So you could sign up for uh, a lecture that starts with A, for example, this one, I'll go ahead and add it. And then a discussion that starts with D. Um, let's click add and then for physics specifically you're you do need a lab as well and then all the labs start with L so I'll go ahead and add this lab um, I mean if I click submit it's gonna throw me a bunch of time conflicts but just for the purpose of demonstrating how to register for classes such as physics so I'm going to go ahead and remove myself from those classes. Okay, another um, common issue that many people run into while registering is they don't have the, requ the prerequis prerequisites required. So let's see here. I, I know I don't have the prereqs required for ECE, which is short for Electrical and Computer Engineering, and 340. So this is Semiconductor Electronics, and if you click on the actual um, class and go to Course Description, it'll actually tell you all the prerequisites required for this specific class. So it looks like for 340 you need ECE 210, 
Physics 214, and Credit or Concurrent Registration in ECE 329. This just means that you have to have already taken ECE 210 and 214, and this Credit or Concurrent Registration in ECE 329 just means that you have to have already taken ECE 29 or be taking ECE 329 in the same semester as ECE 340. Um, so yeah, if you go into one of, if you actually click on the title of the class, it'll give you some class details such as the credit hour, the course number, and the title of the class. If you go into instructor slash meeting times, it'll tell you a variety of information such as the times that they meet, um, where they meet, and also the professor. So it looks like, for example, here they meet on Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 12 to 12.50 in ECEB room 4070. Um, so if I try to register for this, it's not going to give me a an error for my prereqs, but um, you should always double check to see that you actually do have the prereqs requi required for that specific class. Again, it's throwing me a time conflict, but I'm not actually registering for the class, so it doesn't really matter. Um, just a general tip for when you're registering. Um, a lot of you guys are going to be registering relatively late, so some of the classes that you want might be filled up. So I would suggest starting with the classes that have the least number of sections. So what I mean by that is, for example, my uh, MATC class, MSC 201, only has one section available. So you can't move this around, so you have to you have to um, schedule the rest of your schedule around that one class. So it just saves you a lot of headache if you first register for the classes that have the least options and then register for the classes that are more flexible. So that being said, I would definitely save um, classes like calculus, chemistry, and physics for the end just because they have a lot of sections that you can choose from and thus you can structure those classes around the classes that aren't as flexible. Okay, um, just a really quick note on Calculus 2. If you are an engineer and have to take Calc 2, which is Math 241, or 231, you do have to sign up for a specific section, which I believe is the section starting with E. So, um, so one of these sections one of these lectures and then one of these discussions that start with the same letter. And also you have to uh, register, I believe, for another math class just to add another credit hour to Calculus 2. Um, if that is the case, just hop onto the chat room and one of our registration assistants will be able to help you navigate through that. Um, one little note about these tabs up here. If you, for some reason, know the CRN number corresponding to a class, that's just this number right here. It's just the class code. Um, you could obviously click on Enter CRN and then enter it in here. Let's see what this is. 65036. So if I add this, um, it'll pop up with um, statistics and probability. Obviously, it's already a duplicate of an existing registration, so I can't register again for it. Um, okay. Okay. So, yeah, if you do have the CRN available, you can obviously type it in there, and it'll pop up with all the sections that correspond to that CRN number. Um, I believe that is about it for the um, registration tutorial. If you do have any other questions, obviously feel free to go to the chat room. I highly recommend you guys utilize that because all of our registration assistants have um, registered for many classes through this same terminal, so they'll definitely be able to help you out there.
Um, but yeah, that's about it. And if you have any questions, go to the chat room and good luck registering.